It's Hannah. Hannah Baker. You will help me? Always. It's just been so beautiful to kind of hear from people who resonated with the show and who resonated with Hannah in particular. This goes above and beyond what we were aiming for. And this is why we make this show. If you thought watching 13 Reasons Why was emotionally draining, just imagine what it's like to actually be on the show. For me at least, I, I can't speak for you guys, but it, yeah, it's an honor. It's safe to say these actors earn every penny they make on set, but just how much is that? You might be surprised by how little money the cast of 13 Reasons Why took home in the first season. Okay, so it's still a lot of cash compared to what the average person makes, but it's a drop in the bucket compared to what they earn today. Yeah, no, I mean... In the beginning, it's estimated most of the cast earn somewhere between $20,000 and $60,000 per episode depending on their role. Oh. Because the first season had 13 episodes, that means most of the cast earned somewhere between $260,000 and $780,000 total. Not too shabby. But right from the start, Dylan Minnette was out earning his co-stars, and it's not hard to see why. Dylan portrays Clay Jensen, Hannah Baker's friend and crush, who struggles to move on after she passes away. There's nothing I can do. In the first season, Dylan was taking home $80,000 per episode, or over a million dollars total for the whole season. But by the time production began on the third season, he had gone through a major pay bump. He went from earning $80,000 per episode to $200,000 per episode. That's a raise of over a million dollars per season. But when he's not portraying one of the most stressful high school experiences ever, he's appearing in movies like The Open House, Don't Breathe, and Prisoners. Oh, and he's also the singer and guitarist guitarist in a band called Wallows. His musical background helped him provide feedback on the show's soundtrack, and he also got to help pick out the posters for Clay's room. All in all, Dylan Minnette has a net worth of approximately $3 million. Next up, we have actress Alicia Bowe, who plays Hannah's former BFF, Jessica Davis. Hannah's gone and she was sweet and sensitive. 13 Reasons Why is her most prolific role, but she has plenty of other appearances on her acting resume. You might have seen her on Days of Our Lives, Modern Family, Teen Wolf, or CSI Cyber. While she started out in the group of people making twenty dollars to $60,000 per episode, her salary has at least doubled for the third season. Now she's bringing home $135,000 per episode or $1,755,000 per season. Between her work on this Netflix streaming show and her other gigs, this star has a net worth of approximately $1 million. Ross Butler's work as Zach Dempsey on 13 Reasons Why has been phenomenal, but it did end up costing him another major role. Ross was cast as Reggie Martin on Riverdale, but was ultimately forced to drop the part when it intervened with 13 Reasons Why. He's also been in the movie Shazam and secured a spot in To All the Boys I've Loved Before 2, which is hitting Netflix in 2020. Not that we're counting down the days or anything. Ross Butler earns $135,000 per episode of 13 Reasons Why, and with his other income, this gives him a net worth of about $1 million. It feels good. Yeah. We've gotten to know, love, and let's be honest, hate some of the students of Liberty High during the first couple of seasons. But we're getting some fresh faces in the third season, including actress Grace Safe, who will be portraying a character named Ani Akola. Although we don't know much about her yet, she certainly seemed to play a prominent role in the trailer. Not only is she a new Liberty High student, but she's also fairly new to the world of acting, with very few credits under her belt. She had a guest role on The Doctors and did voiceover work for the popular video game World of Warcraft, Battle of Azeroth. Even though she's new to the cast, she's in all 13 episodes of season 3, so whatever she's taking home for a paycheck has to be pretty substantial. Justin Foley is a character we all desperately want to see get it together, and he's portrayed by actor Brandon Flynn, who seemed to be doing just fine for himself. In addition to 13 Reasons Why, he also landed a recurring role as Ryan Peters on True Detective. With his $135,000 per episode pay, he has a net worth of about a million dollars. You might find it hard to believe, but actor Actress Anne Winters actually got her start with a straight-to-DVD movie. Yeah, A Christmas Snow was a long time before she started raking in awards. She's since appeared in projects like Sandcastles, Mom and Dad, Zack and Mia, and Night School. You can also catch her on the ABC drama series Grand Hotel as Ingrid. 
on 13 Reasons Why she plays the role of Bryce's girlfriend and head cheerleader Chloe Rice. It's unknown how much this star makes per episode, but considering her hefty acting background, it's most likely substantial. Her net worth is sky high compared to her co-stars and is estimated to be about $11 million. 13 Reasons Why is a show which proves that just because you're not alive doesn't mean you can't be an important character. We learned that lesson with Hannah and now it seems like we'll get a refresher with Bryce Walker played by actor Justin Prentice. There are characters we love to hate and then there's Bryce who is just irredeemably terrible. But we have to at least partially attribute that to the acting skills of Justin, who also appears on shows like Malibu Country and Preacher. He brings home about $135,000 per episode of 13 Reasons Why and has a total net worth of approximately $2.5 million. Miles Heiser plays the role of Jessica's ex-boyfriend and Hannah's former friend, Alex Standall. Before landing this part, he was known for his work on the NBC drama Parenthood, and you can also see him in movies like Rudderless and Love, Simon. For his work on 13 Reasons why he earns $135,000 per episode and his estimated net worth is about $1 million. Tony Padilla is Clay's best friend who tries to help him process his grief about losing Hannah. He's played by actor Christian Navarro, who has been in movies like Can You Ever Forgive Me and Bushwick. Christian is one of the many actors who takes home $135,000 per episode and has a net worth of about $2 million. As part of earning his paycheck, Christian had to get a driver's license before filming started so he could drive Tony's beloved car. Just when you thought 13 Reasons Why couldn't get any heavier, we have the season 2 storyline of Tyler Down played by Devin Druid. That was rough for all of us. But Devin has been in other movies too, like Cam, Imperium, and Sugar, and earns about $135,000 per episode. Considering he only started acting in 2012, it's pretty impressive he's managed to accumulate a net worth of about $600,000. Speaking of Tyler's terrible second season, one major reason it was so bad was thanks to Montgomery De La Cruz, played by Timothy Granaderos. Before landing that role, he had auditioned for the parts of Justin, Tony, and Jeff Atkins, but ended up in a much more villainous role. It, it is exhausting. He's also been in shows like Tagged, Runaways, and In the Vault, and has a net worth of about $1 million. For a while, we weren't sure if actress Michelle Celine Ong would be reprising her role as Courtney Crimson for the third season of 13 Reasons Why. That is, until she shared an Instagram to let us know she's back in action. In addition to this show, she's also appeared in the series Elementary and appeared as herself in A Celebrity's Guide to Giving. While Michelle is coming back for season three, we can't say the same about actor Tommy Dorfman, who played Ryan Shaver in the first two seasons. His character announced he was going to take a gap year at the end of season two, and Tommy indicated on social media that he wouldn't be back for season three. And of course, we have gone but not forgotten Hannah Baker, who was played by actress Katherine Langford. Fans can also look forward to seeing her in the movie Knives Out, which will hit theaters in November 2019. Despite Hannah being the one who came up with the 13 reasons why, it's estimated she made about $1 million per season, which is just under $80,000 per episode. This leaves Catherine with a net worth of about $4.6 million. Interestingly enough, Catherine originally auditioned for the role of Jessica and not Hannah. Originally, Selena Gomez was going to play the role of Hannah before she decided to step back and focus on her role as a producer. If you're one of the fans who are ready to stop being haunted by Hannah, well, you're in luck, because Catherine will not be reprising her role for the third season. As you've probably noticed, most of the cast members have similar salaries and received a huge pay bump after the first season. It's believed the stars entered a tough salary negotiation with Netflix and used the success of another streaming show to their advantage. Stranger Things is a hit show, and it's another Netflix original with a fairly young cast. Said cast was able to negotiate hefty raises for their third season, and the 13 reasons why stars saw no reason they couldn't follow suit. Finn Wolfhard, who plays Mike Wheeler, earned about $20,000 per episode for the first season and $250,000 per episode for the third season. Although that may sound like substantially more than 13 Reasons Why star Dylan, keep in mind, Stranger Things has less episodes per season. This means both Finn and Dylan will be bringing home around $2 million for the third seasons of their respective shows. As for the future of the show, Netflix has announced there will be a fourth season and it will be the last. We know we're sad about the show ending too, but it's safe to say our favorite cast members will be getting another raise when it comes time to start filming the last season of 13 Reasons Why. Being on such an emotionally draining show means these actors really earned every penny of their paychecks. All these characters have been through a lot. According to Dylan Minnette, producers had therapy dogs on hand in order to help the cast and crew cope with their emotions. These pups helped keep their spirits high and ensured the actors could do their jobs. 
Catherine admitted to having trouble filming the show, particularly her controversial scene in season one, which was later removed by Netflix. In addition to the dogs, Catherine says the cast found comfort in one another and from their executive producer, Selena Gomez. We know there's no substitute for cold, hard cash, but getting to hang out with superstar Selena Gomez and a bunch of dogs sounds pretty spectacular. 13 Reasons Why has been a controversial show from the get-go, but it's also one of Netflix's most popular. It will be interesting to see who is left standing and what's left of them as we go into the fourth season. Are you looking forward to seeing more of 13 Reasons Why, or do you think it's gone too far off the rails? It's both, it's both. Let us know what you think in the comment section and then click on the subscribe button for more videos from us here at The Taco. Thanks for watching and we'll see you again next time.